students at more than 2,500 schools across the United States are planning to walk out of class at 10 a.m. in each time zone Wednesday to protest congressional inaction on gun control. The national school walkout will be a 17-minute protest, in honor of the 17 people who died in the school shooting in Parkland, Florida, last month. The walkout is being organized by Youth Empower a division of the National Women's March Group. The protest aims to raise awareness of the students' demands for gun control before a march later this month in Washington, D.C. The demands include banning assault-style weapons and expanding background checks to all gun buyers. Because the walkout is scheduled during school hours, it has triggered confusion about how teachers and principals should respond. Do students have a right to protest when they should be in class? And are schools allowed to punish students who participate? Part of the confusion stems from the fact that the answer to both those questions is yes, to some extent. Students at public schools have a right to express their political views, but schools have the right to place limits on how they express those views to ensure they don't disrupt the learning process. Schools can even suspend students in some cases, more on that below. Civil liberties groups are worried that some schools might be going too far in their punishment threats potentially infringing on students' constitutional rights. The American Civil Liberties Union, ACLU, in Nevada warned school administrators across the state about this last week after hearing reports that some had threatened to withhold students' diplomas and kick students off sports teams for participating in the walkout.